I cut my bangs and I still don't really like them. I like really want baby bangs, but I don't think I feel confident enough to cut them myself. Also, I think maybe I just need like a haircut in general. So that's on my to-do list to book. Um, I'm, I have a CT scan this morning because I've been having crazy headaches. Um, so I'm off to do that now. It is minus a million degrees in Calgary and I'm gonna be late. So I don't know why I picked up my camera right now. Let's see. Okay, these look dry. Excellent. How are you guys looking? This is a big question. Are y'all dry? So to finish painting this as well, move all my gemstones that were keeping it flat. I drew in these pencil lines to help myself, but every time I see them, I think they're little cracks and it like psychs me out at first. But yeah, I need to finish painting the grass and the flower and some paint. I didn't let this dry slow enough. Mm. Crusty, dusty. This is why I shouldn't have nice things. Clean your wheel. Don't be like me. Okay, I made it. First things first, I'm gonna put that track into the wall. We actually tried to do it the other day, but our screws weren't long enough because the track itself is like this thick. Um, so I need to bring extra long screws today. Luckily, we already have the bottom measured out, like the bottom screw I have to drill in. So I think I can just like level it, 
hopefully it'll be good. I'm like really nervous that I got the wrong type of wood for the shelves. I'm pretty sure it's the same stuff. It's the same like coated and then like it's mel melamine, I think it's called. But I don't know if it's because the shelves I'm putting up are so much longer that it seems like less stable or like less sturdy. Um, just when I was bringing the shelves in from my car, I felt very like floppy. Well, it's gonna have three brackets, but it's gonna be like one long extended shelf, but four of them. Anyway, <laughs> we're just gonna put in the extra track and then try it. I have like a pendant lamp that I got that I'd like to put in this corner over here, even though I technically have lights up there. I um, don't really love them and also I just don't think they're like the vibe that I want. Um, these ones I inherited when I moved into this studio space. And then other than that, I'm just gonna try and put together my little project if I have time. Honestly, the shelves and everything is like the priority today. And I also got a shower curtain for the bathroom that I'll put up to kind of cover just my shelves full of glaze ingredients and like glaze stuff and my display stuff for markets and I don't know what else I even have in the bathtub area. I just want to like separate that, be able to cover it up when people come into the studio. Yeah, unfortunately my little sculpture for Skillshare did not make it into the kiln yesterday. I, this heater is here because I was trying to like quick dry it. I have a concept for a show, it's not really a show, it's just like a social evening displaying new work at All Things GQ, which is where I did my December pop up in the last video. Grace who runs All Things GQ is awesome and she's starting this new social series where she's gonna have people pop up every other Friday night from I think like seven to nine and we were chatting about it and it's just kind of like fun to have something to look forward to in january february because these are like the coldest months the most like sad months um it's literally minus 31 here in calgary today 31 degrees celsius but yeah it's so cold here i was so bundled up i had to get gas on my way into the studio today and i went in to go pay because the actual screen was like frozen <laughs> outside and we were just chatting about how cold it was and how bundled up I was. Okay, that's like eight minutes of rambling. So I'm gonna have to clip this later because that's a long time to be talking and for you to listen to me talk about kind of nothing. Let's just get these shelves shelving.
Thank you.